One side of Vincent Antonucci's head is flat, so the four-month-old is wearing a helmet to try to reshape it. I noticed the flattening at the 10-week visit, and I was really concerned. There's been an increase in children with flat head syndrome since doctors recommended infants sleep on their backs to reduce SIDS. Now the American Academy of Pediatrics is out with guidelines to treat and prevent flathead. The AAP says moving the child into different positions or physical therapy on the neck muscles can correct most cases. These deformities do happen. Most of them are benign, which means they will go away on their own. The report says parents should keep babies off their backs as much as possible during the day. They should increase stomach playtime, limit the car seat, swing, or bouncy seat, and turn the child's head each night from left to right in the crib. Doctors say if there's no improvement in six months, that's when parents should see a specialist. But some experts say in severe cases, acting sooner is best. If we know that this child is going to need the helmet anyway because the numbers and the asymmetry is so great, I recommend not waiting because the younger the baby is, the softer the bones are and the faster the bones grow. The Antonucci's tried everything but decided a helmet was the best option for their baby. I think it was so significant, the flattening, that I, I just knew it wasn't going to get better on its own. Vincent will have to wear the helmet for about three months, but after a few weeks, his parents already see a difference. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, New York.